Hello everyone. Let's discuss about chlorine. Chlorine is present in the body as chloride ion. As chloride ion. This chloride is taken in the diet as sodium chloride. As sodium chloride. Many vegetables and meats have small proportions of this chloride. Many vegetables and meats. It is also available in the chlorinated water. Coming to the daily requirement, about 100 to 200 millimole. 100 to 200 millimole is taken in the diet as sodium chloride. Coming to the distribution, whole blood contains 250 mg per dl. Plasma it is about 375 mg per dl. Then CSF is 440 mg per dl. Then coming to cells it is about 190 mg per 100 gram. Then coming to muscles, it is about 40 mg per 100 gram. This is the di distribution of this chloride ion. Coming to metabolism of chlorine. Absorption takes place in small intestine. Absorption takes place in small intestine. This chloride uptake depends, the, uh, depends on the exchange process with bicarbonate. Chloride absorption or uptake depend on exchange process with bicarbonate. At the same time, there will be sodium exchange. Sodium exchange for hydrogen ion. That is the absorption. Coming to excretion, in sweat, Excretion is about 5 millimole per day. Then in feces, it is about 5 millimole per day. Then in renal excretion, it is about 100 to 200 millimole per day. 99% of chloride in the glomerular filtrate is reabsorbed by renal tubules. 99% of chloride in the glomerular filtrate is reabsorbed by renal tubules. Mainly in proximal tubule that is about 60 to 70% that is in proximal tubule. Then about 20 to 25 percentage in proximal tubule it is about 60 to 70 percentage and in ascending loop of Henle it is about 20 to 25 percentage ascending loop of Henle it is 20 to 25 percentage then 10 to 15 percentage in distal tubules and collecting duct distal tubules and collecting duct. So, 99% of chloride in the glomerular filtrate is reabsorbed by the renal tubules. That is mainly in proximal tubule that is about 60 to 70%. And then in ascending loop of Henle that is about 20 to 25%. This is followed by 10 to 15% uh, by distal tubules and collecting duct. This control of absorption and excretion of chloride is similar to that of sodium. Increase in blood volume decreases reabsorption of this chloride and vice versa. Increase in blood volume decreases this chloride reabsorption. Reabsorption of chloride. 
plasma levels of chloride depends on the plasma concentration of sodium and bicarbonate. Plasma levels of chloride depends on plasma concentration of this bicarbonate and sodium. That is when decreased sodium is associated with decreased chloride. Increased sodium is associated with increased chloride. But in the case of bicarbonate, increased bicarbonate, it is associated with decreased chloride. Decreased bicarbonate means it is associated with increased chloride. So, this plasma levels of chloride depends on the plasma concentrations of this sodium and bicarbonate. Coming to the functions of chlorine or chloride, it is important in the production of HCl in gastric juice and it is important in chloride shift. For the formation of HCl in for the production of HCl in gastric juice and it is important in chloride shift. So, this is about chlorine. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.